people welcome back to the ego bite 83 channel where the past never dies i'm of course your host ego bite and whoa a chatter already hey fortfire welcome back to the show nice to have you here man these intros though yeah <laughs> thanks uh, uh first of all i need to i think bring up the volume a little bit of the mic because it was really really low last time i'm gonna have it right there yeah that should do it and also, uh, the game volume uh, needs to be brought up a little bit. Hold on. Let's bring it up to 15. Something like that. Oh, maybe 10. Yeah. I got you guys to tell me tell me off if I'm, if I'm at... Um, the volume is uh, unsatisfactory. Who that? <laughs> well, Fortifier, it's, uh, it's awesome. Um, uh, how is it with you? I haven't seen you in a while, so... What's up, my man? What's up? Ah, it's summer, and it's, of course, Super Nintendo Summer. Um, I've been learning Swedish because I have so many... Oh, really? <laughs> nice. Yeah, I got a little... Uh, I was a little bit, uh, surprised here. I was like, wait, Fortifier, isn't that... Is he from America? You know? <laughs> uh, yeah, so welcome back to another episode of Super Nintendo Summer. This time, we are at the final boss of Secret of Evermore. And we are uh, we are just about ready to whoop his ass. Last time, it didn't really go that well because um, I didn't really know what I was in for. It turned out to be a little bit of a gauntlet. Uh, or like an endurance round. So, oh, thanks for the post, man. Thanks for the post. Yeah. Uh, I'm doing well, though. Got promoted, so eventually I'll have another stripe and another rank. Awesome. So what rank are you now? Are you like, are you like, Sergeant Major? Something like that. I don't know. It just sounds so cool to say it. Sergeant Major! Man, it's hard in here. And the, the fans are on, even. I'm a staff sergeant, but I'll be a technical sergeant in November. Cool. I hope everything works out for you, man. You deserve it. Uh, still based in Vegas, are you? All right, let's uh, see if we can bring up the game. Um, we left off in Omnitopia, and uh, I have been playing a little bit offline just because I wanted to level up the weapons. Weapons are, like, leveling up the weapons is just, like, a tedious grind, and it's not interesting to see. So now I have actually leveled them up uh, as much as possible. Um, yeah, but with this new rank, I can be stationed in England. Oh, as well as Italy and Germany. Cool! Welcome over to this side of the pond! <laughs> howdy, howdy! Andy, you know one! How are you doing today? Uh, how are you doing today? I am doing great. Thanks for asking. How are you doing today? Nice to see so many people all ready to go already before before I even started the game. Um, let's see. Everything good? Everything looking good? Yes, it does. All right. Cool. <coughs> doing well, thanks. That's awesome. That's nice to hear. Good, Good to hear. Good to hear. All right, guys, are we ready for some Secret of Evermore, the final battle? Hopefully, it'll work out this time. I have been reading up a little bit on what to do, and I must say, I have been pretty lazy when it comes to uh, using the alchemy, uh, alchemy formulas. So, I kind of uh, realized that, oh, I should probably make the best of them. Doctor or Professor Ruffelberg even says that when he gives us the energy formula. Like, he literally says it to us. Like, this can really help you in the final battle against Carl Tron. And it's like, why didn't I even think of that, you know? Hey, Freppy! Freppy, my man! 
thanks for the lurk and thanks for the follow. Uh, thanks for the host, I mean. Um, Alright, so, nothing to it then. Let's get busy, guys. Let's get busy. Here we go. at least. Okay, that's good. Alright. Now, uh, keep in mind, I do appreciate any and all feedback. If you should detect that the volume of either my mic or my or the gameplay is too loud or not loud enough, please tell me and I will like try to make the necessary adjust adjustments. All right, here we go. Uh, right, 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 right. So we are just about to head back towards the uh, dark zone in Omnitopia. Uh, it is this way. No. Ah. Stop that. Gotcha, gotcha. Now what is my Let's bring up my mic then to full. I don't know if that's going to do it. Um, how's that? Is that is that better? Also, please tell me if there's like if there's any like distortion. I don't want it to be all like you know. Damn it. Now these guys are actually very annoying. But these are the only like annoyance factors in the last uh, level. I'm notorious for clipping the loudest stream on Twitch. Oh, really? Alright. You can be that if you want to. There's no problem. There is no problem. Come on, die. There we go. Alright, where am I? Get down. Thank you. Oh, nice. Alright. No, stop that. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Uh, well, we need to go back to the dark zone first. <gasps> no, no. This is going to be the final battle for the fate of Evermore. Nothing. Literally nothing. Then why did you drop nothing? Weird. Stop that. Let me go. Good. Alright. Alright, time to teleport to the last place. Or the Wait, 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 wait. wait. Have we already taken that much damage? Really? Hmm. Uh, okay, fine. I'm gonna do that just, just for the sake of it, right now. 
See you later. Alright, time for the uh, endurance round. When they send, like, first they're, they're gonna give us, like, they're gonna uh, have us drop into a room with a lot of bombs. So we need to destroy, like, a lot of fans and speakers that are pushing us back. And then when that is done, we're gonna have a wall of monitors come up. And that's when the real fight begins. Because then they're gonna send progressively harder enemies at us. And also, we need to... Um, we need to uh, adjust our actions right now. I need to be the dog first. Um... I'm gonna set myself to defensive. Why am I... Why is the power meter to 1 instead of 3? That's weird. Okay, never mind. Uh, gonna use that. Uh, yeah, okay, fine. There you go. And we're gonna switch to the dog. And we're gonna go down. And as soon as we go down, we are going to use Energize on the dog. Hey, CNET! Welcome back, man. Oh, don't tell me. We can only go down with the guy, okay. With the hero. There we go. Okay. First of all, switch. Alright. Uh, energize. Not that we really need to, I don't think so. But, uh... Uh, let's see. Energize. No, stop that. Uh, there you go. Energize dog. Alright. Watch out for the bombs. Alright, good. Walk, walk, walk. <laughs> walk, walk, walk. Oh, two and one hit. Get down. No, come on. All right, good. We actually don't really need Energize here, but we had so many uh, ingredients. I figured, like, what the hell? Oh. Oh, right, we need to uh, do this. It actually takes a while. Uh, now that the real fight is going to begin, um, we need to, first of all, switch back to the hero, and then we need to use Energize and Defend on both. And we need to do that, like, continuously, because it's going to wear off after every 60 seconds. And this is, this is a long-ass fight. There we go. Switch over to the guy. Alright. <sighs> okay. Um, defend. Energize. Also, I need to know what we need the action set to. Um, I need the dog to be like... Yeah, fight, but to one, right? Or three. 
to. I don't know what's best, actually. Let's go with one this time around. We'll, we'll see what happens. Um, Alright. There we go. Perfect. Here we go. Alright, now the raptors are going to spawn in. So, we need to be... No, you know what? I'm going to set the dog to three. Alright, there we go. Anyway, you know. Now. Alright. Defend both. Energize both. I think. Yeah, okay. Another set of raptors, I think. Come on. Good. Good. I missed, really? Alright, good. Dog, come on. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, defend, apply on us both. Oh, the dog is already dead? Oh, okay. Hold on. I'm thinking, like, we... Oh, okay, okay. Do we have a revive? Uh, barrier. Oh, why didn't? Why don't we use barrier? We should have used barrier. My bad. My bad. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Um, barrier on both of us. There we go. And. Uh, I guess super heal on both of us. And energize. Perfect. Very good. Yes. Okay, next one. Next one. Oh, Rimsala. Rimsala. Oh, barriers one off. We need more barriers. Very good, very good. Alright, we're bringing them down. Oh, shit. Okay, 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 okay. Alright. Another barrier. Good. 
Very good. All right, now the dark toaster appears. Very good. Ooh. Nice. Okay. Uh, barrier and energize again. Very good. Here comes Magmar! Alright, I think, uh... Barrier... And Energize again... Come on, come on, come on, come on. am I missing? Yes. Is it Caltron now? It is. It is Cartron. The final boss. He's got a massive gun be between his legs. <laughs> All right, we need, uh, once again, barrier and energize. What, he died? Let's blow this thing and go home. Achievement unlocked. Defeat Carltron. Hey! Betwixt his thighs, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. That was actually easier than I thought. You're going to pay for this, filthy human. Eagobite reaches level 36. Zookster reaches level 35. Not so fast, Metalhead. No! Losing power. I bet he just shut him off. <laughs> okay. Kaltron has left the building. It looks like his insidious villain days are over. So, Professor. What's going to happen to Evermore now? Barrier... Okay. Mm, that's a good question. I'm not sure. It was Caltron's influence that created the evil elements on Evermore. Now that he's unplugged, I would suspect that those elements should be going away. You can take a look for yourself. I'll virtually put you into the scene with my Project-O-Matic Zaptron Simulator. Let's see here, twist this knob, pull this lever, <laughs> yes, that should do it. Energizer's going off. Like the stats in stat indicators are still going off. <laughs> oh, okay, we're going around in Prehistoria and let me guess, Antiqua and Gothica as well, just to see that everything is destroyed. Or that all the uh enemies are destroyed. Talk about needing a hands-on approach. Ah. Well, 
We beat the game in 30 minutes. That was that was nice. Uh, don't worry. I've got something else in mind after this game. So we're not going to quit just because we beat the game. But it's a good thing that we did it, did this. Whoa! It looks like the big battle scene in Monster Quake down there. Yes, I believe that Evermore is on a collision course for destruction. With Caltron's influence gone, the balance of the world is completely offset. You say it so calmly as well. The only way to reverse the problem is to remove our own influence on the world. Yes, you need to go home, back to Earth. We have to leave now and take our friends visa with us. Or evermore will be never more forever more! <laughs> okay. Yes, okay, is that your way of showing that you're panicking? I mean, it's not that intense, but okay. I can't do anything, it's scripted, so. <laughs> oh, this is not good. Okay, they're dragging this out, I have to say. Things are getting much worse. I don't know if this old space station can handle it. Eagle Bite! You've got to go down there. Okay. You've got to find Elizabeth, Horace, and Camellia and bring them here. Then we'll return to Podunk together. It's the only hope for Evermore and for us. Alright. We'll do it. I think that was the plan. Uh, what do you suppose our chances are? Let's see. Integrate this function. Differentiate that result. Hmm. Take an eigenvector here. Invert it carries a three. <laughs> like. Your chances for success are roughly zip. Okay. But you've got to give it a try. Let's go, Zookster. We've got to get our friends. And Godspeed! I don't know what's happening. If these quakes get worse, the village is doomed. The quakes have never been this bad. I fear you may be right. Elizabeth, you've got to come with us. Evermore is coming apart, and we're the cause. Strongheart, I must leave, but I'd like to thank you and the whole village. All been so cut. Oh, you, <laughs> you've all been so kind to me. These ground shakes are getting worse, and I'm afraid that's because of me. Fire Eyes, Elizabeth, don't talk like this. The ground has shaken before. It's not your fault. I'm afraid it is, dear friend, and things will only get worse if I stay. Elizabeth, are you ready to go? Yes, in just a moment. It's kind of in a rush, though. I mean. Strongheart, I didn't think this would be so hard. I know, little one, I know. But you should go now. Your future is out there, not here. You will always have a home here. Fire eyes. Yeah, that's some casual walking for someone who's, like, trying to leave a world that's coming apart, you know. Next up, I guess it's Horus. Should be Horus. In uh, Antiqua. Yeah. Like, 
like everyone from Earth needs to leave. I believe these quakes are getting worse. I think you're right, my friend. People haven't started to panic yet. But if things don't improve, there'll soon be chaos. Chaos, I say. Horus! Horus! Sounds, lad. Take your time now. What is it? Evermore is coming apart. We, we've got to leave. Leave? We should stay and help these people. But we're the problem. We don't belong here anymore. The longer we stay, the worse it'll get. Horus, if the boy's right, you should leave immediately. Don't worry, I can take care of things here. I know you can, my friend. You're a good man, Matronius. As are you, Horus Highwater. It's been an honor knowing you. Alright. Last one is the Queen of Gothica. Can they all really fit in that tiny shuttle? Wow, what a yellow sky. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> oh dear, I'm so scared. Camellia, we have to go. Evermore is shaking apart. No time to explain. Amelia, my sweet. Don't leave me. No, that wasn't him. Okay. Come on. You heard the boy. You can have the castle. <laughs> she she didn't question it at all. She was like, you can have the castle. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, that was cool. Alright, leave. Leave the world. Alright, everybody from Podunk have arrived. Has arrived. It's time to leave. Get back to reality. The ship looks like Samus' ship from the front. Oh, a little bit, maybe. Hurry, friends. We've got to go back to Podunk. We're running out of time. Bye, Carlton. I'll see you on the other side. Achievement unlocked. You're still here? <laughs> What's the end of the story? We got an achievement for that, really? Okay. Where is Ego Bite? There is not much time. Yeah, where am I? I hope that he makes it. Let's go, Zookster. Come on. No, don't chase. Forget about the cat. Don't chase the cat. We've got to go back to Podunk. <laughs> Just tap your heels three times. Yeah, exactly. Oh, uh, we are back in reality. Badoonch. Whoa, that was intense. Hi, Zookster. It's good to see that you're back to normal. Everything is normal. Good old Podunk. Nothing strange here. I wonder if that whole adventure was just a product of our overly active imaginations. 
Whoa, wow. <gasps> the secret of Evermore. I think we've got our answer. Or was it? Well, we're, friends. we're safe and we're home, friends. That was a close call. It certainly was. Now, a new adventure begins in this real world. It's not 1965 anymore, you know. I know that it was time to go, but I'm going to miss my village. And I will miss my kingdom. I wonder what will become of Evermore. Ah, all right. Credits. Nice. <clears throat> I'm not looking forward to building this game list again. I accidentally deleted it and I have to count over 900 games. What? Holy crap. I feel for you, man. <laughs> I stepped aside as if it was going to be run over by DeLorean. <laughs> Afterwards, the dream, you were there, and you, and you too. Yeah, exactly. Alright, are we watching the epilogue now? What happened? Who's going to be the new leader of the village? Strongheart is the new leader of the village in Prehistoria. Nice. George Sinfeld. Okay. Jeremy Soul, composer sound effects. Oh yes. Madronius became the new leader in Nobilia. That is awesome. And I guess the king became the new leader in Gothica. I would assume nothing less. Yep. Oh, where's Tinker going? I love the fact that I can actually recline this long. Oh, this this far back. Oh, Tinker's flying with his brother, Gomi. His name was Gomi, right? Something like that. How do you like this compared to Mana? Uh, I like this one much more. I have to say. Uh, because it's... Oh, look! The story. Um, oh, it's the evil twins! They imprisoned the evil twins as part of that uh, freak show thing. Oh, cool. Thanks, our families. Uh, I like this a lot better than Mana. Oh, and most importantly, thanks to Eaglebite and his faithful companion, Zookster. I wish he was here to actually see that. <laughs> But Zookster's so busy streaming nowadays. <laughs> Alright. I think that's it. Oh, sorry. Alright. Yeah, I like this uh, game a lot more than Mana. Not to say that Mana is bad, but... I mean, both of these... This is, this is actually supposed to be... It is the spiritual sequel to Secret of Mana. They don't have anything in common, but they are both um, sort of in the same... They're both the secret games, so so to speak. Um, I have to say, when I played Secret of Mana last year, I got so frustrated with it. And uh, I also got a little bit frustrated with this game because it had sort of the same problems. Um, for once, it was... Uh, um, for once it had like you you needed to grind the item levels that's a thing I, I just I just never really enjoyed that and I I sort of can understand um, the concept that they wanted you to be all like oh the more you invest in the time and and whatnot the better you become but I mean it just takes the fun out of the gameplay when you have to like spend hours 
trying to level up all your weapons. I mean, you have to, like, grind that so many times. Um, and then when you die, um, you start from, from the last in. And if you haven't saved in a while, you have to do so, like, a lot of things all over again, if you're really, really uh, unlucky. Thanks, Zenet. Thank you, my man. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, so, it's always a problem in these games that just for the sake of convenience, you always have to backtrack to the last save point and save as often as you can just because you don't want to lose any progress no matter how small. So, but they're good games in regards to the narrative. I like that, and especially Evermore. I prefer the story. Uh, it was a lot more compelling to me. Uh, a lot more appealing. Um, but yeah, so guys, we are done with secrets of... <laughs> thanks to the player. For Zookster, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send that to him on Discord later on. By the way, guys, if you want my Discord, it is this cord. <laughs> that is where you'll get the late. I've always get the latest uh, updates and news regarding my stream. Um, guys, before we continue, let's let's see what we have in store for the next. Um, uh, the next. What is the next game that we are going to be playing? Hold on, hold on. Let's check it out. We've got the stream boss request list here, um, and let me see. <sighs> so we're doing Metroid Zero Mission for uh, yeah, this is uh, NES. Then we have Super Nintendo Summer, CNET. Wanted Super Mario RPG, we've done that. Fart Knocker wanted Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, we've done that. Now it is time for Maisie Mayhem's uh, request, Illusion of Time. That one is coming up, so we're going to start with that one tomorrow. Good, very good. Alright, Illusion of Time or Gaia, whichever version we're going to be playing. Uh, it all depends on which version there is, like, retro achievements for. <laughs> Alright, perfect. Awesome. Save. There we go. Nice. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Alright, so, I was thinking, uh, maybe we could play a little bit of, uh, The Isle. I only did that once, so why not? I mean, I know it's Super Nintendo Summer and all, but I mean, we're gonna start with Illusion of Time tomorrow. So I'm thinking, let's do some Isle. I just wanna, I wanna run around like a dinosaur now. Yeah, it was one of my choices, but she took it. Yeah, I understand, I understand, man. <laughs> Shit happens, you know. Um, let's see, is every everything prepared? Yeah, I think so. Good, good. All right. Uh, I'm gonna bring up that one there. Very good. And I'm gonna bring up that one there. Nice. Yes, sirree. Boy, howdy. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna do. We're gonna do the aisle. We're gonna do a little bit of the aisle. I have. I wanted to do. I wanted to play that uh, a little bit more. Than we did before. That actually rhymes. I wanted to do that a little bit more than we did before. Uh, I think everything is uh, uh, everything is up to specs. All right. Yeah, let's try it. Here we go. Of course, it's going to be a little bit experimental with the volume because it's not retro arc. Oh, sorry. Oh, wait. Did I forget to... No, I didn't. Okay, good. Good. Bam! There we go. So, yeah. The Isle. The Isle. 
The thing of the isle is that you are a dinosaur. You can choose to be either a herbivore or a carnivore. And we are going to pick... Actually, I'm going to let the chat pick. What do you want me to play as? An herbivore or a carnivore? Let's go for... Uh, let's go for... Um, uh, a server that I haven't played on before. And he wants me to be carnivore. Alright, we got one vote for carnivore. Uh... Of course, I don't want any. Uh, I don't want empty servers. So, um, uh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Carnivore, and of course, you're gonna be able to pick what dinosaur you want me to play as as well. Uh, among the available options. Uh, let's go for uh, Tapkin Survival. Why not? If this is the first person shooter than her before. I don't think dinosaurs have guns. Seen it? I'm, I don't know, but uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> um, herbivore definitely. Um, okay, so let's go into that one first. Oh wait, I might actually already have a dinosaur on this one. It's possible. Let's see. Ah. So the object here, this is of course a survival simulator, um, and the object is to survive. Uh, you have to drink, and you have to eat, and you have to uh, watch out for other dinosaurs, basically. So a message of the day, yada 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 yada, don't care. Um, okay, uh, herbivore or carnivore, and we have gotten... Hello, Turok. Well, this isn't Turok, CNET. <laughs> uh, Alright, so we got a one vote for carnivores. Let's go for carnivores. We have got these dinosaurs to choose from. What do you think? We got the Allosaurus. We got the Carnotaurus, which looks like a big chicken because the arms are so underdeveloped that it actually looks like it only has two legs and nothing else. Uh, Ceratosaurus, which is supposed to be the bully of the game. Dilophosaurus, which looks lo nothing like the Jurassic Park model. Uh, because the Jurassic Park model was, uh, not authentic, actually. Uh, Giganotosaurus, which is sort of, like, on par with the T-Rex. Suchomimus, which has, like, a long beak, w a weird beak thing. Uh, Tyrannosaurus, of course, and... Utah Raptor, which is the more authentic version of the raptors spawned in Jurassic Park. Uh, what was in Jurassic Park, I'm talking about the first movie, was not Velociraptors. Utah Raptors are the raptors that were in there. So what do you think? Give me your votes. Alexa random number generator. A number between one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight numbers. What are we voting for? We're voting for what dinosaur I should play. Fortifier wants me to play as a raptor. Uh, CNET via Alexa wants me to play as a Cerato. A Cerato. Uh, Andy wants a Giganoto. Or a Giga for short. So we got one vote for... Sarah, one vote for Giga, and one vote for Utah. Uh, I need a decider here. <laughs> uh, anybody else? Anybody else? Freppy? Freppy, are you there? Are you there, man? Alexa rolls a five. Okay. Joey says, hey, Joey, welcome to the show, man. Uh, Joey says, Giga. Okay. Yes, actually. Thanks for the host, man. Thanks for the host. Welcome to the jungle. We got fun and games. Actually, it is a veritable jungle that we're going to play in. Um, okay. So, Giga. I have actually never played as a Giga. That's going to be interesting. All right. 
<laughs> we have dinosaurs, exactly. Uh, male or female, it actually doesn't really matter, except for the fact that females can actually lay eggs when they become adult. Uh, and through that, you can actually spawn other players uh, by inviting them to hatch. And they will become your... I've, I've had loads of fun with that in role-playing. Uh, but, yeah, what do you think? Male or female? Uh, Alexa is useless today. <laughs> Cena is like, what? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> I could be your child. Oh, do you have uh, the aisle seen it? Uh, all right. I'm going to play as a... Seeing as how I'm playing as a Giga, which I've never played before, let's play as a female as well. I never really thought about that, so yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> nope. But in my imagination... Uh, okay, what color scheme should we have? I mean, let's go for something really... Should we do something, like, authentic? Should we do something very camouflage-ish? So that we're greenish and can hide away? Or should we do something really obnoxious? I mean, I'd, we're probably not going to survive for that long anyway. Um... <laughs> and he's like, obnoxious. Do obnoxious. I don't know the colors of actual dinos. No, I mean, you know, it's just like uh, it, there are degree, varying degrees of obnoxiousness, I guess. <laughs> Purple Barney. Uh, you can't actually. This isn't the Bermuda. There's another game that is like the Isle called the Bermuda something. Uh, that's a game where you can actually paint your dinos as, like, you can, you can make them purple, you can make them orange, you can make them, you know, like, any color. This is supposed to be a little bit more realistic, so, okay, that, those are details. But here, like, this palette for the underbelly, for instance, uh, let's see if we can make it, like, white, body one, let's do that, body two, let's do that, body three, let's do that. Oh, God, that looks horrible. <laughs> that looks horrifying. That is just weird. That is disgusting. Okay. Um, wait, can I switch to... All right, should we, <laughs> should we do this? What do you think? Like, this is... This is <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be so easy to spot, you know? He's going to be so easy to spot from a far away. Um, now, nah, let's let's try to make him a little bit more. I mean, this looks good, but I want to make him a little bit more greenish if I can. Uh, Diablo and I don't know, like maybe no, not not completely green, but maybe like that. What is that? Nah. It's a bright... Okay, yeah. Let's do that. Uh, Albino Dino, that sounds like a fun Twitch username. Yeah, exactly. Alright, guys. Uh, let's do this. Actually, let's put the detail on... Uh, yellow. Yeah, why not? And still, underbelly, white. I want it to be white. Or not maybe white, but at least a little bit brighter. Like, I can spend a lot of time just customizing my... Yeah. Now you know what I did for, like, hours when I played Mass Effect. Okay, uh, let's, uh, let's do this. Let's start, start up. <sighs> and, of course, seeing as how this is an early access game, there's gonna be a lot of glitches and whatnot, but... Um... Okay, yeah, we spawned on, on the beach, as usual. Right, so, you start off as a juvie, and we need to grow, and growth now is 62, growth takes a long time, um, of course it's taken, alright, let's put up the chat as well, oh my god, there's only Russians in the chat, 
I don't have anything against Russians, but, like, I'm not going to understand anything. Even if they're, like, going to threaten me in a role-playing manner, I'm not going to understand what they want, you know? <laughs> uh, Alright, so. Uh, you can act... Okay, let's not go that way. Um... As you can see, down to down in your uh, uh, bottom right corner, I have all the status indicators. Uh, the big footprint is, of course, the stamina, which depletes as I run. Um, and you can just uh, slow down for it to go back up again. But when you're an adult, you actually need to sit down for the stamina to go back. So playing as an adult is a little bit more difficult. Um, also, your hunger increases, hunger and thirst, thirst increases uh, quicker um, as uh, when you're an adult. Fuck. Okay, they're talking to each other, I think. Uh, the little stomach uh, is, of course, the hunger, and the water droplet is the thirst. Now, everything is full, so there's no problem here at all. Um, but eventually, we're going to get real hungry. Like, I'm just looking around. There's like 193 players on this server, so... At any time, I could, like, come upon another player. Uh, now, I could, of course, run, uh, try to find other players, but... It's a little bit risky, and if we want to be... If we want to be able to survive, we need to stay a little bit... Um, off the beaten track, so to speak. Uh, we can use calls, uh, that's the number keys, 1, 2, 3, and 4 are different moods. <coughs> 1 is the all-purpose um, uh, broadcast call, it sounds like this. Okay, that was actually not loud enough. Um, I think it's on part in part because I'm a uh, juvenile right now. And that was also pretty stupid of me because now everybody knows where I am, basically. So they're probably going to come looking. Um, I'm going to run up here a little bit. Uh, now, in the aisle, you survive uh, best if you actually join up a pack. Uh, if you're by your own... That's the that's the most dangerous thing because um, you tend to run into people that are bigger than you, and that's not good. <laughs> oh, I see. It's uh, almost night time. The sun is on its way down, and we can. It's gonna get pitch black, but we can use night vision, which is this. We don't need to use it right now. Damn it. So many Russians. Just Russian, Russian, Russian. Hold on. Stop that. Go away, go away. Damn notifications. Alright. Um, two for the call numbers uh, is like a friendly one. Three is a threat. And four is sort of like calling for help or like signifying, oh, I yield, I, I surrender. And then you have F. I never really understand what F is. It's just some random thing. Um, what else? There are uh, AI dinos in the game. That to, uh, serves the purpose of uh, sort of like PVE food for carnivores. Um, they're always smaller than you and they don't present a threat. Uh, they're basically just there for you to chase down um, and eat. However, they do, in order for you to find them, they do, they, uh, they call, they, they issue like a call, like, ah, wah, wah, whatever. Uh, and. Uh, you need to find them, but they they can also attract other players. What was that? 
Uh, I have no idea. Hmm. Okay. That was actually that that sounded like pretty close. Alright. Um <clears throat> so yeah, and a lot of servers on the aisle uh or uh, uh a lot of, a lot of aisle servers have like rules, especially survival servers. Um they have um like role playing rules, a lot of like you can't mix packs. Um especially like herbivores and carnivores can't mix. They can never mix, even though people break the rules constantly. Like last week I saw one T one T Rex, one Giga and one Stegosaurus uh in an in a single pack and they actually attacked me and another friend and we died, but not before I took down the Rex, though. <laughs> I want to make that clear. Um, so it's like, the servers have rules, but a lot of people go around breaking them anyway. Um, usually, they don't want you to pair up. Um, as carnivores, you're not supposed to pair up uh, unless you're like the same species as well. So, like, Gigas and T-Rex can't pair up either. Alright, we're gonna have to do this now. It's getting too dark. So, anybody uh, out there? Uh, has anybody played uh, the Isle before? <coughs> and what do you think of this concept? I'm actually getting a little bit hungry, so we're gonna have to listen up closely. Uh... Oh, and that is an Ava. That is an Ava Ceratops. That is food. And that is a Carnotaurus. He's pretty far away, though. Um, never heard of it, but sounds cool. Yeah, it is pretty cool. Um, this is also, like, this is early access, and they they are planning to in, include humans as well, eventually. That you're going to be able to uh, choose to play as uh, mercenaries or tribals, uh, but I'm not. To be honest, I'm not really looking forward to that because I would actually like to. Oh shit! I was gonna go for the uh, of a ceratops, but that squeal indicates that he's being chased by somebody else. I think. Oh, and god damn it, my stamina is down. I need to save my stamina before we can do anything else. And that... That Carno is making a ruckus down there. <laughs> you know. Uh, looks interesting. Yeah, it is pretty interesting. Um, just the fact that you can actually role play as a group of dinos. You need to, like, find food. If you're a carnivore, you actually, of course, need to find other players. Um, you get more food, more meat from other players, but you can also find uh, AI dinos that works fine. Except for when you get to adult status, then like you can still eat the AI dinos, but they're just like a like a small snack. It doesn't really um, deplete your hunger that much. Okay, uh, it's lunch time for me. I'll be back in a while. All right, take care, CNET. I don't know for how long we're going to play this. We'll see, but uh, for now, we're just cruising around looking for food, basically. Oh, what was that? Ah! It's a... It's a... Oh, hello. Oh, Jesus! Holy crap! Carno! Carno! Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, they were in a pack. They were in a pack. All right, and this is so humiliating. When you die, you keep hearing them eat you. <laughs> so yeah, got eaten by some Russians. All right, you want you want us to uh, continue? And you guys want me to continue? Although I could pick a server that isn't as populated. <coughs> Uh, what do you think? Um, herbivore or carnivore? What do you want 
me to play as now? You decide. Do, do, do. First come, ser first serve. I'm going to do the first suggestion I see in chat. But that, you saw that. Uh, that is a typical situation in the aisle. Um, you need actually to group together in order to feel at least somewhat safe. At least on highly populated servers. Um, so it's like, oh, teach me Swedish. Log out is log out. Yeah. Log out, log out. Människor, uh, humans. <clears throat> Köttätare, carnivore. <laughs> Välj din fraktion. Choose your faction. Um, Växtätare, herbivores. Go with herb this, this time. Okay, actually, herbivore, there are some pretty interesting uh, dinos here. Um, these are all just vanilla dinos. In sandbox mode, there are more dinos available, uh, like Stegosaurus or, you know, the long necks and whatnot. But sandbox mode, I usually don't play sandbox mode because I'm out for realism, you know. And survival mode is you always spawn in as a juvenile and then you actually have to grow. In sandbox mode, you don't have, you know, the growth mechanic or anything like that. So, I usually pick uh, survival mode. And that is... Stop it. Oh god, I need to turn off YouTube notifications. Um, these are like the vanilla dinosaurs that you can actually use. And I would recommend, actually, the smallest one. Uh, that is the... Oh! They don't have the Dryosaur here. They got the Dibble, they got the Galley, they got the Maya, they got the Paki, they got the Para, and the Trike. Damn it. Um, Dryosaurus is, uh, is a very small herbivore, which is very fast, very fast. And you need to be very fast when you're a herbivore. And also, it's the only dinosaur of the vanilla dinosaurs that can sort of like burrow and create like you know like underground uh, holes you know like dens so you can actually go inside and hide there uh, hide away from like the uh, uh, the carnivores and whatnot um, but this server doesn't it doesn't seem that this server has the dryo I saw Paki. I want to try, I want to go, hold on. Also, there was a bunch of Russians here, so it's a little bit in more interesting if we can at least understand the chat. Let's see if we can um, find another server that can suit us, that suits us. <coughs> uh, let's see. And I usually stay away from Thenia Island because it's a smaller map. And it's like, basically, it's enclosed inside of a valley. Uh, the isle is actually a huge map with like a different, uh, different types of biomes. So there's like a jungle, there's mountains, there's forests, there's river deltas, there's an archipelago. There, you know, like, it's a very, it's a very large area. And I've been playing with my friend, and we have actually. Like, I've, we've grouped together as soon as we spawned in, and I see his, like, steam image, like, in a certain direction, and then we can, like, walk towards each other, and we, it can still take, like, hours before we reach each other. That is how large this map is. Um, good guys. The good guys. That actually sounds good. All right. Let's try that one. 69 players online out of 100. Welcome to the Good Guys server. Make sure to join the Discord. Uh, oh, daily server restart time. They didn't have any rules or anything, but it's probably in their Discord. But, oh, look at this! 
I already had a uh, had a dino here. Oh, it's it's a galley. It's a Gallimimus. Interesting. I actually colored him. R this is also like pretty obnoxious coloring, but you know, what the hell? All right, so herbivore this time, right? So the Gallimimus is a pretty quick uh, dinosaur. If we oh Jesus, don't twist your neck. Um. Actually, you know what? The uh, the sound is a little bit low on the gameplay side. Hold on. I'm going to turn up the desktop sound just a little bit. There we go. A little bit. Um, so, let's see. Oh, I'm actually full grown already. Okay. All right. Now it's just... We just need to survive, basically. Um, so, what you do as an herbivore, and this is actually what I take a little bit of issue with, but, I mean, I kind of understand the, de uh, the developers. They can't allow you to eat as an herbivore everywhere. I mean, if carnivores have to, like, chase down their prey, herbivores have to have some kind of similar difficulty. So, apparently, and I was a little bit miffed when I realized this, but herbivores can only eat from special bushes so we we can't like eat here we can we can only eat uh, special bushes uh, let's see if we can find one here I mean it's unrealistic to be sure but I mean what were they supposed to do I have to take their side a little bit because it ha there has to be some sort of a balance in the game. It would be vastly unbalanced otherwise. Um, another way you can actually find your bearings and also um, as an herbivore you can find bushes to eat from and also both as a herbivore as ca and carnivore you can find water. I think the water, the swamp is down here. Uh, is by sniffing. Sniffing, uh, smelling the air uh, that's Q, and you do it like this. You also get a heads-up display uh, with the uh, weather patterns, or the um, the directional uh, directions. As you can see, the bushes uh, get highlighted. So here's a bush that that I can actually eat from. So, let's eat, and also, as you can see, the water of the swamp that I'm next to right now uh, also gets highlighted. Now, this these are um, indicators that you, you can see from pretty far away, uh, like really far away, um, and that's good. Usually, if you smell the air and you are not seeing anything, then you are pretty far away from everything. Like, you're, you're, you're really in the middle of nowhere if you happen to spawn in uh, at, so at those locations. And I have a couple of times and that's not fun. <laughs> hey, look, we got English speakers. All right, good. Oh, look at that. There's a... Is that a Suko? Yeah, it's a Suko. It's a Suko Mimus way over there. All right. Oh, he actually went away from me. But he's a... He's a carnivore. I don't think he saw me. Or did he? Alright. Good, good. How's the stream, guys, by the way? Remember, this is actually... <laughs> this is online, so... I'm used to streaming offline. Uh, I don't know if if uh, the stream is taking a performance hit or not. Good on my end? Alright, awesome. By the way, welcome again, Joey Ramsey. I saw you in uh, in uh, the Pixel World stream. Nice that you could, uh, uh, could join me. Uh, uh, I will say that usually my channel is dedicated to retro. Like, I, I, 95% of my channel is retro, but 
for now, like we, as you saw, we uh, we beat Secret of Evermore within 30 minutes now. So uh, tonight, so I figured, like, what the hell? Let's do a let's do a little bit more modern game now. And this is one of the games that I actually enjoy playing. And actually, I do prefer survival simulators when I just want to relax because it's sort of like uh, a simulation of real life. Like you just you can go anywhere. You can uh, it's it's almost therapeutic. Like if you if I log into a ver to an empty server of it's the same thing if I like play Daisy. Oh, look at that. We've got a dino down by the by the water over there. Is that another Sucomimus? Thanks again. <laughs> no worries, man. I mean, right now, we don't have anything uh, to do on this server because we are fully grown and we don't, we don't have, like, we're not thirsty, we're not hungry, so... Where'd he go? Okay. I don't like that. He just up and disappeared on us. I don't like that at all. Now, as my friend has discovered time and time again, in this game, you can, of course, uh, injure yourself. And one of those ways is to drop down from a height and break your bones. If you do, you get a broken bone indicator, which is here. And when that happens, also if you get a bleed injury, um, you get a, a blood droplet here. Um, if any of these two are alight, you actually have to sit down and wait until that uh, indicator goes out. That is the only way you can basically heal yourself again. Um, when you have a broken bone injury or a blood injury, um, you uh, you are compromised in that you limp around. You can't run. Um, you can't, like... I don't know if, like, your attacks are compromised as well. Something like that. So you... It's, uh, it's important to heal if you... If you've injured yourself. Alright. So this is the life of our little, little precious Gallimimus. Okay. That is making way too much noise. <laughs> splash, 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 splash. <laughs> like, in this game, you really have to try and... Oh, an Ava... Oh, right, we're not carnivores. Whenever I hear that sound, I I remember that, like, or no, I don't remember. I, I tend to forget that I'm a herbivore. I can show you the Ava though. That is one of the uh, um, AI dinosaurs, although it is a little bit risky because. That I that Ava is now signaling that it is alive, and uh, it's signaling to other players, especially players that are carnivores, where it is. But I want to go there and just show you what it looks like. I mean, it's not like we have anything else to do, <laughs> you know. Let's see if we can find it. Sometimes you need to stop and listen again and try to triangulate where he is. I thought I heard like big footsteps. Come on. Make a noise. Ah, he's up here. Try to move a little bit faster because we want to be able to. Um, uh oh. Yeah, I hear him. 
Oh. Oh, we see. There's another dino way over there. Could be a carnivore. I don't know. Alright, the Ava. Ah, here he is. This is the Ava. Now, if I had been an... If I had been a carnivore, he would have uh, he would have ran away from me. This is not another player. This is an AI, an NPC that spawned in for the sake of carnivores. Oh, there's another one, pretty close, pretty close by. Interesting. Okay. And there are two other types of dinosaurs that spawn in uh, for the sake of the carnivores. Um, of course, carnivores are supposed to. Like they're encouraged to uh, uh, to uh, try and eat other players, but sometimes there are no other players close by, and uh, especially on like more empty servers, um, sometimes the AI dinosaurs are the only ways for a carnivore to survive. <laughs> Freppy, I thought you'd gone to bed, or to bed or something. Oh, what was that? Oh my God, we actually have to eat and we have to drink. Um, let's see if we can smell. I mean, we can probably go back to the swamp. Uh, let me see. Are there any bushes around? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There they are. And there's a big water hole close by as well. I actually want to see uh, the original Jurassic Park again. It's been so long since I saw it. And playing this game always makes me want to see it, you know? Alright, we're full now, are we? Yeah, good. Alright, moving on to the water hole. And unfortunately, it's getting dark here as well. Uh, I was hoping this w uh, this server would have been more on the morning side. Uh, the day and night cycles in this game uh, is usually uh, are usually uh, 30 minutes. So it's pretty long, especially when it's like night and it's pitch black, and you have to use the, use the night vision. Nobody wants to play with the night vision. Constantly, I see in chat, like, you know, oh, uh, wh when is it gonna be day? When is it gonna be day? This is this sucks, you know. <laughs> I've actually talked to my friend uh, that I play the aisle with and asked him if he wants to uh, uh, to do a stream with me sometime. Like, uh, if he wants to play with me while I'm streaming. And he said that he was actually up for it. And uh, uh, I'm wondering if uh, there would be sufficient interest to see that. Alright, we're actually going to have to do use the night vision now. Wait, what? Didn't we drink? Come on, drink. Uh, my little Gallimimus. Who to thunk it? Uh, actually, this Gallimimus, this particular Gallimimus, I recognize his coloring, uh, was one of the first that I created. Like, I think he might even have been like the very first dino that I created uh, in the aisle. And then, of course, I uh, I have uh, uploaded another, or I did stream the aisle once before. Uh, I think like a month ago or something, and uh, that one was pretty cool because I actually ended up in a Triceratops clan as a hatchling, and that was really cool. We uh, I talked to the guys and we we had like so much fun because we made jokes and we like. That that was fun. We it felt like a real family in a way, um, and uh, yeah, we just ended up staying with our birth mom, 
Um, and she, like, she uh, guided us to places where we could eat and things like that. It was actually pretty cool. It was uh, true role-playing. Um, and then I went back a couple of times after I became adult, but my family had left, unfortunately. I never saw them again. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Triceratops is another uh, dino. Uh, Triceratops was actually my favorite dino when I was a kid. Uh, I remember always liking that one, and that was because of that. Uh, the Blue Ranger in Power Rangers was my favorite, and whatnot. Um, but in my experience, playing the trike, as it's known in the Isle, um, is not. It's not the best. I mean, it is pretty lethal when it gores you with the horns, but it's kind of lumbering. It's it's. I wouldn't say slow, but it it turns pretty slow. It doesn't turn um, well. Um, but if you really want to talk about dinos that don't turn well, of course you have the long necks. The biggest dino available in sandbox mode is Puertasaurus, which is like sort of a, a Brachiosaurus type uh, of sauropod. And that one, it's like moving a house. Like trying to, you know, oh, okay, that was me. Uh, you're not gonna get anywhere fast with that one. <laughs> you know what? Maybe we should switch to carnivore because it's a little bit more interesting when you have to hunt. Uh, what do you think, guys? Let me just get another bite of the um, of the glorious bushes. Now I just want to listen to the uh, Jurassic Park soundtrack. <laughs> That's what you want to do when you play the aisle. At least when it's day. Now it's like night and it's meh. It's pretty meh. But when it's day... Oh, yeah. One thing about logging out. Um, you actually have to wait until this timer counts down. Uh, if you want to save your dinosaur. Although I don't know how uh, consistent that is, because I have logged out before, once or twice, before the timer uh, counted down, and my dinosaur didn't get, uh, wasn't uh, lost or got wiped or anything. Uh, but that may be, I might have saved it properly before, before I did that. So, like once before or something, I don't know. Um... All right, let's let's do this one more time and log into that server, which was very dangerous. Um, what was it called? Tapkin Survival. Yeah, 171 player out of 200. Uh, it's a little bit crowded, but eh, it doesn't really matter. Ugh. So, what dinosaur do you want me to spawn in as, guys? Um, the biggest ones are uh, the Giga and the T-Rex, of course. Uh, then we have the uh, uh, Sarah, Carno, and Aloe. They're all pretty much uh, the same size. Not the biggest ones, uh, but they're pretty good all around, especially Allosaurus. Uh, Carnotaurus is among the fastest of the uh, carnivores. 
Saras, I have never played as really because I don't. I just don't like it. I don't know why. I'm a little bit biased. Um, Dylos, I don't have that much experience with Dylos either. Um, Sukomimus is like a blank slate to me. I've never even heard of a Sukomimus before I uh, bought the Isle. Uh, and of course, Utah Raptor uh, is the smallest um, carnivore. But I would say the, the fastest of the small uh, carnivore dinosaur. Oh, it's actually the only small carnivore. Um, yeah, so what do you think, guys? What do you want me to play as? I'm probably just like, kill them all. Kill them all. Kill them all! Mm -mm -mm. Oh, sorry. Yeah, okay. I can actually do that, okay. Alright. Guys, anybody there? Still? <laughs> oh, sorry. Accidentally clicked away that. Stop that, Windows 10. Ugh. Maybe I should pick one. I don't know. I am not good at picking. Like, just, I get... I get choice anxiety. <laughs> Let's go for one more, though. No! I know what we could do. Let's just let's just take any old random uh, dinosaur and then let's request an egg in chat and see if we can hatch by another player. Why not? Okay, we'll uh, we'll pick a raptor. Right. Yeah. Okay. Great body. That one. Perfect. Yeah, but I'm playing Resident Evil 2. Oh, you are. Okay. <laughs> you playing? Are you playing the remake? All right. Let's see. Oh, I forgot. It's just Russians online. Sorry, sorry, but. All right. I'm not going to be able to understand the. Uh, the chat, anyway, so I need to find a server. Well, let's just go back to good guys. Why not? Yeah, okay, sure. You're playing Resident Evil 2, the, uh, the remake. Alright, cool. I am actually going to, like, um, one of my web series, Nintendo Week, is actually, uh, let's put it up right now, uh, here... No, not we. There you go. Nintendo Week is actually uh, every last week of every month, except during summer, is Nintendo Week. Ego Byte plays a GameCube or Wii game with the intention of beating it within the confine of that week. Because is it's usually a secret game, viewers who watch the first episode will be eligible to guess what game it is by like seeing the intro and whatnot. I don't show any logos. I just put the game on and then. Uh, the first one who guesses correctly will win a free stream boss request. Um, that's pretty cool uh, because people have actually been uh, interactive in that way. Uh, so usually when I play Nintendo Week, uh, or when I do Nintendo Week, it is uh, a Wii game or a GameCube game. And now I have actually played uh, Resident Evil Zero. And I have all the Resident Evil games except for seven. So, I'm going to go through them all in canonical order. Um, but, I don't want to give away if, if that is what I'm going to be doing like the next time we do Nintendo Week. No, it's probably not. It's probably going to be something else. <laughs> Alright. Um, wait, can we have... Maybe... No, wait. No, not a Sora. Teutonic Survival Official. That's actually a pretty populated server. 
Uh, Azura 1, no. As all the Azura uh, servers are reserved for me and my friend when we play. Um, the Isle official EU 1. Okay! No, I. that's where I am uh, Triceratops. Toph? Triceratops. I remember now. Um... Isla Nublar 1. Or do I already have... No, that's Thenia. Okay, you know what? Screw it. Let's do... What was it? Um, uh, Teutonic 1. Survival. Yeah, let's do that. I wonder if I have a dino there already. <sighs> I might have. It's possible. Yeah, I did. What dino is it? It is... It's a raptor, I think. Yeah, it's a raptor. Are we full grown? No, we're not. Alright, let's see if I can... Holy shit. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can... Um Any cool eggs ready? So if we get a nest invite, we're gonna get it like, uh, like on top of the, uh, at the top of the screen. My <laughs> my eggs are always ready. Okay, that is... Wait, that almost sounds like a, a big one, a sauropod. Oh, oh, lag. For some reason. Uh, what did we learn? From what? get on top of this mountain. From the game, do we like it? You mean this game? The Isle? Yeah, I think it's cool. I am a little bit worried about when they include humans, though. I fear that it might get, like, un unbalanced. And also... I would prefer if the dino simulator has would would only be like um, I would prefer that the dino simulator would be uh, just dinos. I don't want to be a dynist, but that did, that didn't work. That's sloppy. A, di a dinosaurist. What are you going on about? And then there's me. <laughs> oh my god, this guy's so cute, actually. Oh, they're down by the water hole. I see him. Actually, I see him better without the night vision. Um, I'm not going to be able to take them on. They're a full pack. Holy shit! <laughs> I 
I mean, what are they? I think they're Mayas. Mayasaurs are the, um... Yeah, they're Mayas. Mayas are the strongest, uh, the most, uh, the strongest, uh, herbivores. And a pack, I mean, this little guy can't take on one, let alone a pack. So we're gonna have to bypass them. What do we want to be? Which, which clan do we want to be born into? Where do we, where do we want to hatch? Do we want to be a baby T-Rex? Do we want to be, like... I don't know, but... kind of feel like I want to join a pack right now. Man, they're talking. What is that? Oh, that's the archipelago. There's literally nothing there. Jesus. <laughs> oh, we got an Ava. See if we can get him. Oh, it's too close to the water hole. Please don't make me go to the water hole. I don't want to go this way. People are very bad at inviting tonight for some reason. Usually if you ask for it, a nest invite will pop up. Where did the uh, where did the Ava go? I heard him before. I heard Noro as well. I mean, we're gonna have to drink. We, we basically have no choice. If they want to chase me away, okay, fine. But... We're getting... Significantly thirsty. And there's, like, no other water hole anywhere. It's starting to rain as well. When it rains, uh, that's another important thing to know. Whenever it rains, you can't smell. Like, you can't find anything by smelling. Because the rain washes away all the smells. Oh, I hear an Oro. An Oro Dromaeus. That's a good pe that's a good meal. Jesus. I'm in the middle of Maya Central apparently. Where's the Oro? I heard it.
I can't hear shit while, while they're making all this ruckus. I mean, the only way to find food as a carnivore, if you want to find, like, uh, the AI dinosaurs, is to listen for them. Uh oh, I hear some footsteps. I hear footsteps. I hear big footsteps. I hear really big footsteps. Holy shit! Holy shit! A Camarasaurus! Oh, I knew it! Holy shit, look at that! They're like a convoy. Oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> Could you not walk over me, Trike? Uh, I second the motion. They're still down there? They're, I think they left half their herd or, or something. Where is that Oro? I hear him all the time. No attack. Yeah, if I attack with this little hatchling or this juvie. Well, look at that. That's a Dryo. He's looking at me. <laughs> okay, I'm hearing too many. It, it makes me nervous. Yeah, this is like a little baby. It's not a baby, but it's a child. A child can attack these things. It'll be suicidal. Yeah, you saw you saw the Dryo. That's uh, I think that's the fastest dino, at least of the um, the vanilla dinos. That's actually interesting. Yeah, herbivores, I think they're role-playing a little bit. They're being peaceful right now, even though I'm a carnivore. But because I didn't show any aggression... Oh, look at this! There's a mound here! <gasps> what store food? Wait, can I... Can I destroy? I've actually never interacted with a with a nest like this as another dino. No, I don't want to store food. I can't do anything with the nest. Okay, now I get it. They had a nest here. That's why they've been. And stupid me is running around as a carnivore in the middle of a big herbivore pack. And that they can actually mix pack. They were long necks. They were trikes. They were dryos. I understand. But, still... Can people... buy the water hole? Shut up for two seconds. So I can find the taco? Yeah. Oh, actually, they're not talking right now. That's an Oro. I still hear the Oro. Okay. Yes! We got an Al- 
we got a taco. That's short for Sitakosaurus. Sitakosaurus. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Sound off. I can't hear you. Now I hear you. <gasps> there was a pearl? Oh my god, they've really colonized this waterhole. I still need, like... Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah, he's chasing me. Yeah, his stamina is going to go down faster than mine if he's going to try and chase me. Damn it, there there are people everywhere. What he's still around? Really? What the hell happened? That was weird. He, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. He looked like a, an adult, or at least sub-adult. And their stamina is supposed to deplete faster than juveniles. Not to mention the fact that raptors are among the, f the quicker dinos. I don't. I didn't really see what dino that was, but unless there was like another one that was sort of ambushing me, I don't know. Strange. All right. Ah, one more. Uh, no. Wait, 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 wait. Back, back, back. Do we have? We do have the dryo. We have the dryosaurus. All right. We're gonna do the dryosaurus now. There we go. Finally. Now this one is a quick one. Question is, where did we spawn? Oh, I know where we spawned. We spawned, like, almost completely on the other side of the aisle. So... I can't go back there and be all like, Hey guys, can I join your herbivore pack? Um, that's gonna t It's going to take me like... I don't know, like 40 minutes or something just to get back there. So let's look around here instead. Now, if we reach uh, adult status here, then we will be able to... Bu oh, look at all the water holes. Jesus. Alright. If we reach uh, adult status, which is actually gonna not going to take that long, um, we will be able to uh, build or, like, dig a burrow. And that's... I don't know why. I just find that neat, you know? Hey, Fortifier, are you still there, by the way? Actually, we could go into sandbox mode and if we just wanted to kill something. Or try to attack people and whatnot. But I, I don't... I really want to do that. I, I abhor, like multiplayer games where you just kill for the sake of killing. It's just... It's... There's no create creativity in it or anything. Yeah, I knew I was here. 
Okay, where are the food dinos when I am a carnivore? Now I find them, but I'm a herbivore now. I don't need you now. A dryo can really, really sprint, by the way. Look, there's the Ava. Right over there. Yeah, I should probably move away from, from this spot because um, Ava's are prime targets for apex predators. Don't want to be caught here. Although I am the fastest dino. Still, I'm just a juvie right now. I think you get faster as you mature. Okay. Let's go down to the water hole and actually I would recommend oh what was that? I would recommend uh actually if you're really playing this hardcore I would not recommend going to water holes but instead it like if you want to drink instead find a river. There are a lot of rivers in this game as well. And rivers are better to drink from because it's too large of an area to cover for a carnivore to be camping. Compared to a single water hole, which is pretty, like, static. Oh, I need to get my stamina back up. <sighs> So guys, what are your plans for this week? Do you have anything uh, interesting in mind? Are you going to be doing something fun or not? It's summer, so make it count. Just work after today. Oh, you're you when do you have your vacation? Jojo Oh, you're having a vacation in October. Wow. That's interesting. I mean, I guess I can understand that reasoning because that's when people mostly get depressed and whatnot and you really don't want to work. <laughs> that's when you basically need uh, to take a break. Oh yeah, I see a dino way up behind the trees. I don't think you can see him. I can't see him now, but... That's, oh, there he is. Oh shit, oh shit. It's a T-Rex, I think. Oh, he's drinking. I, I don't think he saw me. He might not have seen me. He also might be sniffing. Uh, sniffing me out. Unfortunately, it's not raining, so... He might find me. Is he still on my... On my ass? No. Nope. Okay, good. Uh, we need to settle down a little bit. I'm gonna hide beneath this uh, spruce to regain my stamina, and then we need to eat some bushes. Uh, I have to because I'll be losing a week of vacation if I don't use it by the end of the year. Oh! Okay, okay. 
What do you do for a living then, Joe? And where do you live, by the way? I'd like to get to know my my followers a little bit. CNET's from Texas. Um, Bart Knocker is from Seattle. Um, Magic Patrick is from, I think, Pennsylvania. I don't know. Uh, I'm from the U.S. and I work for Budweiser. Budweiser. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Awesome. Drive trucks for a living. Oh, do you have those, like, cool CB radios? 10-4, good buddy, you know. I don't have one in my truck, but I could if I wanted to. Okay, cool, cool. Maybe that's not as popular nowadays as it was, like, back in the 80s. With all those, like, laws of not transporting beer. What was it? Like, east east from Texas or something? East of Texas, that's bootlegging or something like that? I don't know if that's still valid today. Alright, we need to eat. Oh man, he looks wrinkly as shit. <laughs> and he's still a kid. He's yeah. Okay. Hey Zai, welcome back. How are you, man? Seeing that you're playing the aisle, but I missed the ending of Secret of Evermore. Yes, you did. <laughs> that was pretty good. It went pretty quickly as well. Um, once you know basically what to do and what ingredients to use um, and uh, how to do it, it's pretty easy. It wasn't challenging at all, actually. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because the game was so good um, with the exceptions of the flaws that were brought over from Secret of, Ma Secret of Mana. Um... I need a drink. Uh, I need to drink again. Oh, that's right. When you're, uh, when you're a juvenile, you actually need to drink quite often, I think. So you have the last boss on the game finished tonight. You have the last boss on the game finished tonight. If I've beaten the game by beating the last boss of the game tonight, yes, <laughs> I've done that. So, we are done with Secret of Evermore. Tomorrow, we are going to start a new game in the game known as Illusion of Time. Or, as it's known in the States, Illusion of Gaia. Doesn't really matter which, which version we pick. It's the same game. Uh, but I do want the retro achievements, so I'm gonna see which one gives me that. <laughs> you had to say that, didn't you? Oh, I hope I don't fall here and break my leg. It would be so typical when Zai is online. Because oh no 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 don't fall. <laughs> because Zai is always the one who breaks his legs. Ugh, I need to lean back a little bit. No, no, no. Did I break my leg? No, I didn't. Ha! That's how you do it, Zai. That's how you do it. You fall down a little bit. You see? You see? No broken bones. No broken bones. <laughs> All right, let's go back. Let's go over here to the river. We need to. We need to drink. Lee Dandaras. Yeah. Oh, we're 91. Man, the dryo grows fast. 
Again, if I was a carnivore, I would have gone for that one, but I'm not. Screech mods. Well, you know, when I'm streaming, I have I I have to. This is my channel. I I am allowed to show off once in a while. Okay. <laughs> All right, we've gotten up to uh, a river. Let's take a drink and get our bearings, shall we? I'm trying to. St I'm still keeping my eyes open because that Rex might still be around here, or Giga, or whatever it was. Oh yeah, he's still here. I hear him. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if we can see him. I think he's uh I think he's camping the water hole. Uh at least you can spawn a skateboard or something. What? Spawn a skateboard? Not really. <laughs> there are no skateboards in the aisle. Ah. 94, Jesus. Compare this growth rate to uh to the T-Rex, where you have to wait for like hours and hours and hours. Usually you have to split up several play sessions uh, before you even get to grow once. Something in the bucket. <laughs> I love that swinglish, man. Oh, no, 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 no. See, Zai, this is also how you do. You discover the the uh, the cliff before you fall. That means that you don't break your bones. See, see. Ho 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 ho. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Did I break my bone? No, I didn't. Go away, go away. Please go away. Board option. Why are you okay? I'm gonna try to sneak away. It's a, it's an aloe. Yeah, it's an aloe. Allosaurus. I don't think he can outrun me though. Oh, I'm almost grown. Oh shit. I thought he saw me. He didn't see me? I was sure he saw me. Okay, you know what? I'm going to take the risk. Eat a little bit. Eat. Eat. Why aren't you eating? Oh, maybe I need to grow. No, I can't. Wait, hold on. Come on, come on, come on. Growth. Ooh, another aloe. Did I break my bones? No, I did. Still did not break my bones, Sai. This is how you do it. Oh, another one. It's a freaking pack. There's like tons of allosauruses here. Yeah. Okay. Grow. All right, finally, full, fully grown. Drink. Now I can burrow by holding right mouse button. That's good. We're gonna make a burrow, but I wanna go. I wanna cross the river. Professional game, right? <laughs> yep. I wanna see if I can get uh, get some distance between me and them. Before I create the burrow. Also, I need to eat. I mean, my dino needs to eat. Oh, 
Okay, where... I'm not seeing any bushes, actually. Yeah, okay, up there, but I don't want to go... I definitely don't want to go there. Alright, let's go here. Alright, good. Man. He's been Kama for almost 1.5 months. What? Alright, hold on. I mean, I would actually like to go back to where the uh, herbivore packs were. But they're all the way on the other side of the aisle. And it's way too far to do right now. No. I think I'm going to... Um, yeah, let's create a burrow somewhere. Let's go into the deep woods. And make sure that we're not being followed. Okay. Huh, little Utah. Oh, okay. No, I'm not a Utah. I actually want to create a burrow. Can I do it here? Yep. There we go. Alright. Alright, good. Now, this is a burrow, and here we can actually hide away from the carnivores outside. They can't touch us. With the exception of, uh, I think, like, juvi juvenile uh, Utah raptors. I don't know if the adult version can get in here. Um, but... I think we're pretty sa at least we're pr we're pretty safe for for the moment and also we're safe from from the bigger ones especially the aloes. That was close. I love the fact that they just went right past us. Ooh, yeah. All right, I think we're going to call it a quits now. Um let's see. We have we might as well just do this. There we go. Okay, so, um, what have we done today? We have uh, beaten Secret of Evermore. Yes, we have. Nice. Uh, and also, we played a little bit of the Isle. Uh, that feels good because I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to play that game um, a little bit more uh, on the stream. Uh, tomorrow, we are going to start a new game in the game called uh, Illusion of Time or Gaia. And um, it's going to be interesting. And we will play that until we've beaten it. And uh, hopefully I will be able to get to my second uh, highly prioritized game during this Super Nintendo summer, which is Terranigma. I really want to play, play that game. Um, but I still have two games to go through, I think. Uh... And, uh, yeah, also, this, uh, every Saturday, of course, is my day off, and, uh, uh, every Sunday, we try to do NES games, but right now, thanks to Fartknocker allowing us to do the upgraded game, we are playing Metroid Zero Mission for the Game Boy Advance, and we are doing that every Sunday until we beat that one. Um... Yeah, but I think that is it, guys. I want to thank each and every one of you for uh, joining me tonight. It's been awesome streaming for you. And uh, hope to see more of you in the future. Hope to see you here tomorrow as we begin with another game. Um, 
yeah, I want to wish you the very, very best of weeks. And uh, remember to keep the retro legacy alive. This is Eagle Byte 83 wishing you the best. Good night and goodbye.